Hey everyone, Dr. Steve here, let's talk diets. Today, we're diving into two of the most talked about diets in the health world. Feeling confused about the latest trends? You're not alone. With so much information out there, it can be overwhelming to decide which diet might be best for you. Two popular contenders often top the list, keto and paleo. Both have their unique approaches and benefits, but they also have their own sets of rules and restrictions. But what are they, and which one is right for you? Let's break it down so you can make an informed choice. The ketogenic diet, or keto for short, is all about drastically reducing carbs and replacing them with healthy fats. This shift puts your body into a state called ketosis, where it burns fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. Think of it as a high-fat, low-carb roller coaster for your metabolism. Foods like avocados, nuts, and olive oil become your best friends, while bread and pasta are off the menu. On the other hand, the paleo diet takes inspiration from our hunter-gatherer ancestors. It's about eating whole, unprocessed foods that were available before the advent of agriculture. Imagine a diet rich in lean meats, fish, fruits, and veggies. Basically, what our ancestors ate before processed foods took over. This means no grains, legumes, or dairy. Both diets promise weight loss and health benefits, but they take different paths to get there. Keto focuses on altering your metabolism while paleo emphasizes eating natural whole foods. So buckle up as we break down the science benefits and drawbacks of each diet to help you make an informed decision. We'll explore how each diet impacts your body, what foods you can and can't eat, and how to get started if you decide to try one. Stay tuned. Let's rewind the clock to understand the why behind these diets. The origins of these popular diets are fascinating and deeply rooted in history and science. The keto diet, believe it or not, has roots in medicine. It was initially developed in the 1920s as a therapeutic diet. Doctors used it to treat epilepsy in children way before it became a weight loss trend. This high-fat, low-carb diet was found to reduce the frequency of seizures in young patients. Think of it like this. By depriving the body of glucose from carbs, the keto diet forces it to burn fat for fuel, a state called ketosis. This metabolic state shifts the body's energy source from carbohydrates to fats. This metabolic shift can have positive effects on various health conditions. Beyond epilepsy, some studies suggest it may help with weight loss, diabetes management, and even certain neurological conditions. Now let's journey back even further for the paleo diet. This diet takes us back to the Paleolithic era, a time long before modern agriculture. Picture our hunter-gatherer ancestors roaming the earth hunting animals and gathering fruits and vegetables. They relied on what nature provided, consuming a diet rich in lean meats, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Their diet was naturally free of processed foods, grains, and dairy, the staples of modern diets that many believe contribute to health problems. The absence of these modern food products is thought to have kept our ancestors healthier and more robust. The paleo diet embraces this ancestral way of eating, arguing that our bodies are best suited for foods our ancestors thrived on. By mimicking their diet, proponents believe we can achieve better health and avoid many of the chronic diseases prevalent today. It's like hitting the reset button on our diet and returning to our roots. By adopting these dietary principles, we aim to nourish our bodies in the most natural and effective way possible, just as our ancestors did. Let's paint a picture of what your plate might look like on each diet. Imagine your plate as a pie chart. On keto, the largest slice belongs to healthy fats, avocados, nuts, seeds, olive oil. Think of them as the stars of the show. Next comes a moderate portion of protein chicken, fish, eggs. These are your supporting actors. And finally, a tiny sliver for carbs, primarily from non-starchy veggies like leafy greens and broccoli. Now let's redraw that pie chart for paleo. This time, protein takes center stage. Grass-fed meats, wild-caught fish, and poultry are your go-tos. A generous portion of the pie is dedicated to fruits and vegetables. Think vibrant colors and variety. And just like keto, processed foods, grains, and dairy are off the menu. While both diets emphasize whole foods and limit processed junk, there are key distinctions. Let's break it down with a simple table. Feature Keto Paleo. Achieve ketosis for weight loss and health benefits. Mimic ancestral eating patterns for optimal health. High fat, moderate protein, very low carb, moderate protein, moderate fat, moderate carb, healthy fats, protein, non-starchy veggies, lean meats, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, sugar, starchy veggies, most fruits, legumes, grains, dairy, legumes, processed foods, sugar, as you can see, both diets share some common ground but have unique approaches. 
Understanding these differences is crucial in determining which diet aligns better with your goals and preferences. Let's dive into the science behind these diets, but don't worry, we'll keep it simple. Understanding how these diets work can help you make informed choices about your health and nutrition. The keto diet's claim to fame is ketosis. This diet is high in fats, moderate in proteins, and very low in carbohydrates. Imagine your body is a car. Just like a car needs fuel to run, your body needs energy to function. Normally, it runs on glucose from carbs. Glucose is like the gasoline for your car, providing quick and easy energy. But on keto, with carbs being restricted, your body switches gears and starts burning fat for fuel instead. This is like switching your car to run on a different type of fuel. This metabolic shift known as ketosis is like putting your body in fat-burning overdrive. Your liver converts fats into ketones which then become the primary energy source. It can lead to rapid weight loss and other health benefits like improved blood sugar control and reduced inflammation. Many people also report increased mental clarity and sustained energy levels. The paleo diet, on the other hand, focuses on gut health. This diet is based on the types of foods presumed to have been eaten by early humans. Think of your gut as a garden. Just like a garden needs the right conditions to thrive, your gut needs the right foods to maintain a healthy balance of bacteria. The paleo diet emphasizes whole, unprocessed foods that nourish your gut microbiome, the trillions of bacteria living in your digestive tract. These foods include fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. A healthy gut microbiome is linked to improved digestion, stronger immunity, and even better mental health. The beneficial bacteria in your gut can help break down food, absorb nutrients, and protect against harmful pathogens. By eliminating processed foods and focusing on nutrient-rich whole foods, the paleo diet aims to cultivate a thriving gut ecosystem. This can lead to a more balanced and resilient digestive system, contributing to overall well-being and vitality. Finding your dietary match keto or paleo. So, how do you choose between these two popular diets? Let's simplify it with a decision guide. Consider keto if you're looking for rapid weight loss, you're comfortable with a very low-carb lifestyle, you're managing conditions like epilepsy, type 2 diabetes, or PCOS. Consider paleo if you prioritize gut health and overall well-being. You prefer a more flexible approach with moderate carb intake. You enjoy fruits and vegetables and want a diet rich in antioxidants. Remember, this is just a guide. It's crucial to consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian to determine the best dietary approach for your individual needs and health conditions. Weighing the scales, pros and cons of keto and paleo. Let's weigh the pros and cons of each diet to help you make an informed decision. Keto pros, rapid weight loss, improved blood sugar control, Reduced inflammation may improve cognitive function, keto cons, restrictive and challenging to maintain long-term potential nutrient deficiencies if not planned carefully, may experience keto flu symptoms initially, not suitable for everyone, especially those with certain medical conditions. Paleo Pros emphasizes whole unprocessed foods, promotes gut health. Rich in nutrients and antioxidants may reduce risk of chronic diseases. Paleo cons can be expensive to maintain, may be too low in calcium and vitamin D without supplementation restricts certain food groups which may not be suitable for everyone. The verdict, which diet reigns supreme? So which diet takes the crown? The truth is, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. Both keto and paleo offer potential health benefits, but the best choice depends on your individual goals, preferences, and lifestyle. If rapid weight loss is your primary goal and you're comfortable with a very low-carb lifestyle, keto might be a good fit. However, if you prioritize gut health, overall well-being, and prefer a more flexible approach, paleo could be a better option. Ultimately, the key is to choose a diet that you can stick to long-term and that aligns with your overall health goals. Remember, sustainable lifestyle changes are always more effective than quick fixes. Share your journey. Join the keto versus paleo conversation. Have you tried keto or paleo? What was your experience like? Share your thoughts, challenges, and successes in the comments below. Let's create a supportive community where we can learn from each other's experiences. Remember, every journey is unique, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's all about finding what makes you feel your best.